Good day gentle people, it's your favorite Mr. For You Too. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about Before I continue, a short introduction to angular compression and the Rayleigh criterion from Wikipedia. Angular resolution describes the ability of any image forming device, such as a radio telescope, a microscope, a camera or an eye, to distinguish small details of an object, thereby making it a major determinant of image resolution. The Rayleigh criterion shows that the minimum angular spread that can be resolved by an image forming system is limited by diffraction to the ratio of the wavelengths of the waves to the aperture width. For this reason, high resolution imaging systems such as astronomical telescopes, long distance telephoto camera lenses and radio telescopes have large apertures. What you see on screen are diffraction patterns generated by light from two point sources passing through a circular aperture, such as the pupil of the eye. Points far apart, on top, or meeting the Rayleigh criterion in the middle can be distinguished. Points closer than the Rayleigh criterion, like on the bottom, are difficult to distinguish. The imaging system's resolution can be limited either by aberration or by diffraction causing blurring of the image. The reason why things are obscured bottom first or just obscured in the distance period. Things like trees and buildings. Because there are things in the way, got it. A chunk of planet will do the trick as well. A flat earth doesn't mean smooth. A flat earth has topography. Things like, I said a second ago, trees, buildings, plus you have various uh, elevations of land in between. I have literally never heard anyone say that flat earthers don't believe in mountains and hills and whatnot. I hope you didn't create a 5 minute video just to make the point that your imaginary space pizza has topography. You know, I might be 100 feet of elevation right where I'm at, but some of that area might be 120 feet elevation. Some beyond it might be only 100 feet or less. It varies. That's topography. Bravo, you got that correct. Now all you need to learn is the meaning of elevation. Now I've left out one other thing. I've left out atmosphere. Sure, atmospheric conditions play a major role. No need to explain that, so I'll skip ahead a bit. Flat. Earth doesn't mean no to mock topography and that it's smooth. <laughs> you guys don't get it at all. Okay Gary, show me on the door where the storm man touched you. The earth is flat, there is no curvature, it doesn't move anywhere, we're completely motionless. All one, please continue. Which is why the stars follow the same exact path over the night sky night after night after night. That is not even remotely true. As seen from the northern hemisphere, Orion appears in winter as a mighty constellation arcing across the south during the evening hours. Orion always passes behind the sun in spring, and by June, Orion is gone from our sky. Polaris, always in the same place. Perhaps you should read up on the pole stars and its 26,000 year cycle. You might learn a thing or two. It's been for as long as we know. Some people like to say, oh, 2,000 years ago, something different. They have no idea they weren't here. Do things only happen if you were there? All they had was hand-drawn maps, if they even have that. Yes, they have that. And the fact that you don't know about that shows how little effort you have done into researching the matter. Let's see if you do better in your next video on the topic. This is a video by B-Ball for Life. He thinks that things are hidden by curvature, bottom first. I say that narrow angles cause things to become compressed into smaller spaces. This picture already debunks your claim. Technically the top of a ship is already further away than the part on your eye level. But that's not so important. What is important is that you claim that the bottom gets compressed into invisibility and the top is not distorted at all. That does not match reality. There's no point continuing his charade. Let's check out his last clip. I want you to pay attention 
to the bottom of the ship and also the bottom of the turbines. Those bottoms are gonna fade in color as well as squish or compress to the point where they cannot be resolved as separate from the water. Did they disappear? Nope, because he's zoomed in it right now, which means he has an angle to it. But your eyes will not be able to resolve the bottoms before the tops. Do you also notice how the bottom is literally smaller than the top? Angular compression and Rayleigh criterion. I'm predicting that those windows near the top will visually disappear before the bottom does. Pay attention. There you see the red, yellow portion on the turbines. They're squishing and squishing. Hey Gary, I can't see those windows anymore. Where is your bottom-up explanation now? They're becoming so compressed and the color has faded out that you can no longer see them at this point. And right about now you can't see the red portion at the bottom of the ship. This is the frame where he said now. Is anyone surprised that the smaller area of the ship disappeared before the bigger area? That's why the windows were not visible long before anything else. No hump, no curve. It's just simply a matter of how our eyes work within narrow angles at a distance. I call this another of your many failures. I debunked your material just by focusing on the windows first. Also, I would love to hear you explain this picture but I'm not holding my breath. You also love to claim that zooming in would make the bottom of ships appear again. I don't live near open water anymore, but Critical Think will prove you wrong on that again. Now we'll zoom in and bring it back. Oh dear. This one didn't come back. Let's try another. Wait. Oh, no, not that one either. How about another one? Third time lucky? Oh dear, nope. Looks like flat earthers need some lessons in identifying boats. <laughs> Thank you, Critical Think. And with that, we come to an end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And in the description you will find various links to the source material and links to my socials like Discord and Twitter. This has been Mr. Vory2, out. Don't panic.